The first thing man was wearing was the glory. The reason man started wearing clothes was two things. Number one, to cover his nakedness. Number two, to give him boldness to approach God. Because dressing was for atonement and dressing was to cover the shame of nakedness. Because when Adam fell and discovered he was naked, God created a garment to cover him. The garment had blood. You know, Adam covered himself with fig trees. But God said, no, it's not just about nakedness. It's also about atonement. So God removed the fig tree and gave him animal skin because the animal skin had blood. The blood was to shield him so that when he comes to God, he will not be killed. So atonement began from Eden. But in Christ Jesus, the blood of Jesus has already covered us. So the second reason we now wear clothing is to make for shame and nakedness. That's why I say make garment for Aaron, for beauty and for glory. Beauty reveals the excellency of God, the nature of God. Glory reveals the majesty of God. And so when people are wearing clothes and they are not covering their nakedness, it means what they are wearing is not clothes. You know, in my country today, music ministers are superstars. They are no longer worshippers. They are no longer servants of God. And so a music minister can dress like a club man. He will tear his jeans and wear sneakers. Bab, in all the reading his style. And he'll be doing things. If there's a song in the club, the music minister knows all the steps. He will be dancing. Even when he's singing, he will be dancing. And the whole church will be celebrating because all of us are we hear those songs. So what we are trying to do is that we want to call it church but bring the word inside so we hide the word in church and because there are no watchmen people can't rise and talk and as priesthood begins to mature watchmen will begin to rise and even though the musician is your friend you will attack that act the friendship can end but you are defending the church and because you have met that spirit the jealousy of that spirit will be stronger on your soul than the physical friendship you have with somebody and so you don't care whether the friendship ends or not you will attack that because it's the church you are fighting for people come and say put money on my shoe and god will bless you watchmen will rise up and say it's a lie there's nothing like that in scripture 